Alrighty, we are uh, up here back at this church in Denton, and uh, <clears throat> we had a issue originally. We were pulling uh, this 96 count cable all around town. It goes like box to box. You can kind of see where the truck, the table is right there. Um, and then same distance about that, that direction. But <clears throat> we were pulling and we got to this box here. And uh, we don't know what the hell happened uh, in, in there, but it must be knotted up, I guess. But we basically pulled our cable in our uh, <clears throat> 96 count and uh, we had to go ahead and cut it. Um, cut it because uh, we actually couldn't, couldn't pull it back out. So uh, we know about how far it is in there. And uh, we're gonna have to be, go down and dig a double box in again or something, kind of, kind of shitty. But uh, today I'm gonna be doing a, a mid-span uh, on some cable here. I'm gonna pull about 100, I don't know, 25 feet of this back and uh, do a mid-span on it because uh, there's quite quite a bit of cable and no point in ending it. So, just gonna go ahead and get her, get her going for today. Alrighty, so, got a armor cable here. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. <coughs> when I got my station set up, it's normal. And uh, what we did was used a, uh, one of the multi-tools to uh, cut the conduit, like kind of slid open and uh, bring our 96 out, so just brought out 40 feet or so. And uh, we got to get our 410SX going. We, uh, we dug underneath the sidewalk. Uh, I guess that was plan B, but I didn't get used. And uh, yeah, I'm about to get it going there. Very nice. It is freaking windy, windy, windy. And uh, we're gonna be putting uh, two trays here. One's gonna be backbone, and then a we'll, uh, jeep on this one. So uh, I'm using this little conduit. Don't use very often, but I'm gonna do that. Do that, and I'll shove the fibers right up. Good. Now we got our uh, first flat drop pulled in. We gotta go ahead and. We just drilled into the side of the box, and it's the house, St. Luke's, and then 112. I like that, that's pretty cool. Uh, about to have my second uh, flat drop, and I built this. Uh, it's a Fosque uh, here, and uh, using one of the uh, FS um, splitters. Kind of just fits right in between. I don't know. That, I don't know if that's proper, but that's what we do. Um, and uh, so what I did was I left a, a tray here. It's all backman. Um, I cut a couple and saw if I had power on it, but I didn't. I don't know what's going on there. And uh, then I shoot up my uh, G pond up this little tube. Um, and that way, when I come to hook or if somebody comes to hook up customers me, I guess. Um, don't have to mess around with the back bend, uh, because this 96 count is going to be going quite a bit that way. So, goop. So I, uh, did have to uh, go ahead and add a pond, because the, the way the town got wired, um, basically, this is just the only, only way. Um, added in a uh, new optic onto the g -Bond system and then uh, that powers this four-way splitter um, so that way it kind of nerfs my signal a little bit but also I only have four ports here so this kind of gives this basically instantly opens me up to 12 <clears throat> um, and uh, got my uh, new patch cable in and I had the VFL on it that off and uh, then uh, down to my patch. So I'm gonna hook that in so it kind of does the same thing, and then uh, it's up a little bit. And I gotta go over here to the city right quick and pick up a check, which I don't even understand, but the office asked me to do it and we're gonna, we're gonna do it, so. Um, 
but cool. And go back out. I'm cold, 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 man. It is windy, and uh, we'll try to get um, try to get these two customers hooked up today. That'll be nice. Two, two in one day. Cool. So we are moving right along here. I uh, I'm spliced spliced in. I guess these people had to leave, so we did this one first. But uh, I'm spliced in, and uh, I'm gonna show you show you a couple couple cool things here. Um, little touches. So you know how our conduit that we pull in the ground over there, it's all orange. Um, you can see it over there, uh, right there, orange. So kind of obnoxious looking coming up the side of your building or your house. So this is something we've been doing just on every install. It's kind of cool. So it met, it's basically our box. And then we just spray paint the conduit coming up so it kind of at least matches it's kind of cool but uh i did a shit i did a um uh pigtail here and um we're gonna have to use a uh, 3 db attenuator um i'm coming in pretty hot i'm a negative nine um right here so i don't like being that close uh negative eight is what they say but my power meter might not be perfect in the optic might be a little, I don't know, it's just bad practice. So hopefully using a 3 dB attenuator, it's gonna bring it up to a, a 12, maybe 12, 13 or something. And that, that should be pretty chill. All right, it's been a long, long day. Finally got the second one in. So we got a, uh, we did a mid span on our 96. And uh, we added a, a flat drop. We added uh, two flat drop cables for uh, uh, the church, and then for this house right next door. They signed up while we were out here working. Uh, and I'll walk over here and show you what I did for our house box. Bad house box. They already got her sealed, but that's kind of kind of what they get. Yeah, so, so it's finishing up over there, but yeah, this thing wrapped up. Get back to Salisbury. Actually, the wind has stopped now, but it was definitely it was my table was moving 